Hello everyone, it's Amy from Loop Theatre here. Uh, so glad you could join us today. Um, I hope you're all doing all right. I know it's been a long time in isolation now and I can understand that we're all getting a little bit fed up um, and might find it a bit challenging at the moment. Um, but you're all doing really well. Hang on in there. I'm giving you a virtual hug. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, so this week's theme is clown. Now, some of you might have done some clown before, um, but don't worry if you haven't. Um, you can be a complete beginner to this. So what are clowns like? Clowns are playful, joyful, uh, curious, <laughs> uh, and they like to find the game. There are also lots of other things, but let's just focus on those things at the moment. Um, so we all feel joyful and curious and playful from time to time. And in fact, loopers are especially good at that. But we don't always feel that all the time. But clowns have this wonderful capacity to feel that joyful feeling wherever they go and whatever they do. So today, I'm going to take you through a few exercises that will help you as, you know, just yourself get into that mindset and that state of clown where suddenly everything is amazing and joyful and you just want to play. Okay, so for our warm up today, we're going to do a bit of laughter yoga. Now, laughter yoga doesn't actually involve any yoga. So don't worry about having to uh, stretch yourself in strange ways. Um, we won't be doing any of that. Um, but what it does involve is laughter. But I'll get to that. We're going to start with just some breathing. So I want you to breathe through your nose and raise your arms as high as they'll go and let it out slowly as your arms come down to your sides again. So let's try that together. Nice and slowly out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose. Try to keep your eyes wide and bright and looking out ahead of you. And now this time when we breathe in, on our out breath, we're going to give a big sigh. So let out all that breath as, as quickly as possible. to really hear it this time. So one more time. Ah, that's it. And this time, this in the start, we're going to do the sigh again, but this time the laughter will come into it. So just let that happen naturally. Ah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Let's try again. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Once you've started, <laughs> it's quite hard to stop, isn't it? All right, let's do that one more time. Nice deep breath in. And out. <laughs> okay. Now let's just take a breath in and out just to settle ourselves. Well done. 
Now we're going to explore some different types of laughter. So I want you to put your hands on your belly. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And I want you to rub it. Give it a good rub. Shake your belly like a bowl full of jelly and see what laugh comes out of that. <laughs> oh, uh, it sounded a bit like Santa. <laughs> Did yours sound a bit like that? Um, so that's our belly laugh. Let's move on to our chest. <clears throat> now that the chest is a bit lighter, give it a good rub to begin with. <laughs> now this is where your heart is. So it's going to be your heart's laughter, which is a bit more like you think your natural laugh. <laughs> Try giving it away. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the shoulders. Um, put the shoulders up and down, start to bounce them. What does that kind of laugh does that make? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more of a chuckle or a sort of a cheeky laugh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, and finally moving up to your your cheeks and your face. Now, this is going to be, this is in your head, so it's going to be much lighter and higher. Um, and I want you to keep your cheeks high. Think high with your cheeks. <laughs> it's like kind of like a pixie. Or a little elf. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, now, just so we, we don't all get a bit hysterical, let's take a nice breath in to ground us. Well done. So let's play with that laughter that we found. Um, I want you to get a partner if you can um, so there might be somebody in the room with you, brilliant, uh, but if there isn't, you can do it with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and mirror each other, so you'll just have to mirror me for now, um, and we're going to mix all of the laughter together, all the, la all the different types that we've learned. So we've got the belly, the chest, the shoulders, and the, ch and the face face, shoulders, chest and belly, chest and belly. <laughs> okay, you ready? exercise that I want to try um, and I want you, you to imagine that you're a banana maybe a slightly bent banana okay very good very good <laughs> now I want you to peel yourself and each time you peel yourself um, you take one bit of skin off you're very gleeful and excited that you're you're one step closer to being free. So you ready? 
enjoyed that warm-up. Um, it can be hard to laugh sometimes when there's not lots of people around uh, to laugh with, you know, so staying at home all the time um, can really make a difference to the way that we feel. We don't always feel like laughing. Um, so I, I hope that that helped you in some way um, to find that joyful part of you that's still there. Um, and the next part I want to focus on, so we focus on the fact that clowns are joyful. Um, clowns are also curious. Now, um, clowns like to discover the world. They're explorers in the world. Even in a place as boring and ordinary as your living room, they will notice new things and wonder at the beauty of the smallest, most ordinary object. So an exercise I want to try now is I want you to um, look at things through your clown eyes. I want you to look around the room, look around the room and find an object. Uh, oh, oh. might be something that's been in your living room for a very long time but you've never really properly looked at and all of a sudden because you're seeing through your clown's eyes you look at it and think wow can you do that stop the tape if you need to stop the video and go and find an object you maybe hadn't seen before and you think is interesting and you're curious to see more of it. Okay, I'll do my free space. Okay, have you got an object? Okay, now with your object, I want you to look at it. Nice wide eyes, eyebrows high. And I want you to feel that joy that you felt through the laughter yoga, who just laughing because you don't know, don't know why. <laughs> but also look at the object and see how interesting it is, how beautiful it is. And I want you to actually say the word, wow. Now, another thing that clowns love is sharing their enjoyment with the audience. Now, my audience is you, um, but your audience might be um, the person that you're uh, doing the video with, or there might be someone else in the room, um, but you can just use me as an audience as well. So I might look at the object and say, wow, and then turn my head and eyes to the audience and say, wow. Now, um, by saying wow to you and sharing my joy and delight with you, I'm saying, have you seen this painted bird? It's amazing, isn't it? And I'm including you in my joy in how much I'm enjoying looking at this object. Okay, so now once I've included you, I, go, I turn back to the object See how wonderful it is again and say, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and 
So uh, you can try that maybe with a different object this time. Um, and we're gonna, and I'll show you the sequence again, and we can do it together. And I want you to remember to say the word wow. Okay, maybe go and find another object. So here's what we've got so far. Wow. 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 So, we see the object. See how amazing it is. We say, wow. We turn to the, our audience. We say, wow. We turn back to our object and we say, wow, again. Now, quite often, clowns don't actually use words. And you might, not pref you might prefer not to use words as well. Um, and the truth is, a lot of the time, words aren't needed. Um, we can convey the message, we can convey our feelings using our facial expressions and body language. So for our final exercise, I want you to find, um, a, take, take your new object, this is a new object, pick it up, look at it and say wow, but this time only in your head, not out loud. And then you'll turn to me or, or, your, or your audience, they're next to you, um, and you'll say wow, but only with your eyes. And then remember to go back to your object and do the same with your object. Okay, and re remember that joyful place. Remember your happy place that we did earlier on in the week. Um, or remember the laughter yoga. Oh, and just think, this is amazing. This is beautiful. Think, wow, but don't say it. You got that? Give it a go. Okay, so we've looked at joy through the laughter yoga. We've looked at curiosity uh, through the wow exercise. Um, and the last thing I want to look at is playfulness. Clowns are playful. Now for this, I want you to go to your wardrobe and through your clown's eyes, look at all the wonderful clothes you have in it. All the colours, all the textures, all the beautiful patterns and stripes and spots and fabrics. Hopefully there's not just black in your wardrobe. Um, different types of clothing, hats, dresses, uh, trousers, belts. Uh, maybe you even have some fancy accessories and I want you to choose an outfit for your clown an outfit that is joyful an outfit that is fabulous an outfit that makes you feel good and happy it doesn't have to look ordinary it can be quite silly so I'm gonna get you to stop the video now and go 
and look at the things through your clown's eyes. Maybe you want to say, wow, when you see something you like. And go and get into your outfit and meet me back here. Okay? All right. How did you get on? <laughs> well, as you can see, I got on very well. Uh, I've got my straw hat with three straw flowers on it that I thought, wow. I've got my golden headscarf, so sparkly. Oh. I've got my feather boa, ooh, tickly. <laughs> I've got my green beads, mmm. Ooh, wow. And I've got this fabulous pattern in deep orange and black. And then at my waist, I've got this beautiful blue wrap, sort of sarong thing. And um, on my feet, I've got my little mouse slippers. Um, yes, as you can see, it all goes perfectly together and so I think I'm ready to go to a party now would you like to come to a party with me yeah oh, oh wow I'm really looking forward to it okay I'll just go get some music It takes a lifetime to become the best that we can be. We have not the time or the right to judge each other. It's one life, and there's no return and no deposit. One life. So make sure you like what's in your closet. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Thank you for coming to my clan party and to the session today. Um, I can't wait to see you all uh, in person when this is all over and I really wish you well and hope you can find the joy in your everyday life until then. Um, it will be Janine next week um, so lots to look forward to there, um, but why don't we have a dance to play us out? <laughs>